Shout out to the blog that keeps a consistent middle figure up towards Cardi B on site. They have posted what I'm about to read to you guys. Let, let me just say this, man. It seems like on site has like a thing for dissing Cardi B. It's amazing how on site is always going in on this heifer. I, I mean, can y'all please take y'all foot up off of her neck for like two seconds? Nah, I'm playing. Keep entertaining me. Anyways, uh, shout to Ra Ali. Shout out to on site. That's that's her joint. Yes, Ra Ali from Love and Hip Hop New York. Cardi B's co star. You know, there was the beef with Remy. No, no, sorry, not Remy. Excuse me. Take that back. There was a beef with Cardi B and Nicki Minaj and Ra Ali allegedly put that knot on Cardi B. They were calling her Naughty B at the Harper's Bazaar Fat New York Fashion Week event. So somebody named I'm a Savage said, you know, your album is going to flop so hard, Roach. And Cardi B said, you've been saying that since a B word step. And I've been crapping on your moms ever since. Now, that's just downright disgusting. So anyways, that person who had tweeted Cardi B posted a screenshot of their phone. I guess it was a phone. And it basically says that Cardi B blocked them on Twitter. To be exact, it says you were blocked from following Cardi B and viewing at I am Cardi B's tweets. And then there's a button for them to learn more. And what they had to say about it was, oh my God, Barb's. So it was one of Nicki Minaj's people, one of her fans to be technical. Oh my God, Barb's, I did it. Laughing crying emoji. Cardi B blocked me. It's such an honor. I really got her pressed and represented this kingdom well. Congratulate me, Barb's. Crying emojis and a unicorn emoji. You idiot. You want Nicki Minaj's attention that bad? That you that you're proud of being blocked by Cardi B. Seriously, that's what you're doing with your life. Listen, I get blocked by celebrity. Talk. I found out recently that I'm blocked by K. Michelle after all these years. So this had to be recent because I fapped the K. Michelle not that long ago. I mean, I had the lotion just surrounding me. So I have been to her whole social media with a host congregate up on there with 5011 bottles of lotion, wrapping hand movement all day. Listen, K. Michelle, if, if them butt shots are allegedly possibly maybe going to your brain. You know, that ain't my fault, ho. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I love, y'all know I love me some K Michelle. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she heard some of them old videos where I was telling jokes about her allegedly having a fishy, a fishy pan. Allegedly. Yeah, I told some jokes about that back in the day, K. So what? I was still rapping hand movement to you. I was still a fan. Jeez. She don't block me. Be Anyways, these, these holes are something, man. These holes are something else. Anyways, I done been blocked by a lot of celebrities. When you do what I do, you're going to get blocked. Guaranteed. If you consistently talk about these people that are on TV, that make music, etc. Especially if you at them. Some of them that you get away with talking about them, as long as you don't contact them. Once you contact them, that opens up a whole new door then they have to acknowledge the fact that they know who you are. A lot of these people are closet listeners to the blogs and the vlogs. You know what I mean? A lot of them are blog visitors and whatnot. And I know this because, listen, by the grace of God, I'm followed by some of these people on social media. So they know who I am, number one. Number two, some of them have left comments, including some of the people from Love & Hip Hop including Love & Hip Hop New York. Some of Cardi B's co-stars have left comments right there in the comment section. You'd be shocked. Well, the, the dumb people would be shocked. But anyways, I mean, this, this it's just the nature of the business. It's just this person wants to get blocked by people and stand for Nicki Minaj, become a blogger. Because then you have an excuse to talk about people. Right now, you just look like a hater. But if you become a blogger, you got an excuse ready. Well, I'm just, I'm just doing my job. I'm just, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is just the way it's supposed to be. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Like Martin Lawrence said. Actually, he said, what's up? But thumbs up. Thumbs up. Comment. Subscribe. Click the notification bell. I have three channels currently. Click the comment, rather, the description box, as of right now, it's underneath the video, but this is YouTube, so it may change at any point. But in this, the description box, I have the links to all of my channels. This one that you're listening to this video on, as well as my other two. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bells for all, all three of the Meat Magazine channels. If you're listening to this anywhere else, somebody stole my video. 
which means I'm going to have to take them down. You don't understand how it goes down. All I got to do is, is report them, and then the video is going to possibly their channel. All right? So don't be playing out here. But anyways, uh, let me know what y'all think about it below. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Shame on you to the hater who went and said that about, well, is there a second album going to flop? More than likely it will. She'll probably have what they call the sophomore jinx, and she'll probably blame it on the current situation that's going on in the world. But actually, people want good music. If Cardi B's music was that sought after, if it was all of that great, then it would basically go nitro. Because everybody's waiting for something insane to drop. it will take their mind off of everything that's going on in the world. However, if the person has a song talking about what's currently going on, that could work to their advantage. As long as they're a good enough writer. Like J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, somebody like that. Or if you can make a bop out of it, make a hit record out of it. Like Drake, for example. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And click the notification bell. Do you think that Cardi B second album is going to flop? Let me know in the comment section. And for those who listen all the way into the end of this video. The secret password to say in the comment section is. Cardi Beats. Because Cardi B is going to have to have some amazing production. This amazing ghost writing. In order for her to sell on the second album. You know when they go doing the whole like fake numbers thing. That's usually more or less like a first album thing. They usually don't do that for the second album. It's like they give you this mega fake industry push, and then after that, they're like, "Okay, now you gotta kind of, we gotta see what you could do now on your own." It's like training wheels, like they hold the bike while you pedal, but then they're like, "All right, if you fall, it's on you." But anyways, I told y'all before, I think Cardi B should be an independent artist. Should he use? She should have used the fame and the momentum that Atlantic Records stole her or gave her or whatever allegedly, and then just use it to her advantage. But don't sit up there. And stay signed to a major record label because I don't think that she's built for it. She complains too much. Also, you know, they made her famous and they made her a lot of money because, you know, just like the voting machines, you can rig numbers nowadays. Well, they've always rigged numbers in the music industry. But the way they can do it now is digitally. And I don't believe anything about it. Think about it. Even the Grammys is corrupted. Remember that came out? But y'all think that these record labels aren't doing corrupted stuff? Didn't the RIAA start investigating these right these musicians? But y'all still didn't put it together though. But anyways, uh, let me know what y'all think about a blow MAGA. Click the subscribe button right now for more Meat Magazine. Click the notification bell, all notifications. Click the thumbs up button on this video. Post the comment below the video in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe to all the Meat Magazine channels for more videos. The links to my other channels are in the description box.